You're the furthest than anyone has ever been from any human being. That's what they say, but I have never calculated it, so I don't really know. But I got the certificate. The most amazing part of the flight. Um, I went around the moon 75 times, uh, 150 hours, six days. And every time I came around the backside of the moon, I got to a window to watch the Earth rise. Wow. Unbelievable. And that must, be, a, that must great, be something that great. you remember vividly. Oh, yes, What's yes. There was a little uh, sort of scandal about your trip as well though Al wasn't there when you guys went up to the to the moon because there was sort of um, and, and Michelle talked about it in the VT you took some stamps and you took some envelopes that you wanted to sort of bring back but there was why do you want to talk about that well because it because it, I mean it's a, it's it's part of it I think it's part of the trip that people remember as well because you came back it wasn't something that hadn't happened before I think previous trips had taken some bits and pieces up that had then been sold it's just your trip you guys got sort of held, hauled over hot coals with it, don't say you? you guys was it just you no who was it it was the commander on the flight who did all that. He did all that. Uh, yes. And David did that, Scott. Did that tarnish the experience for you at all? Nah. You know, you have to separate out that. I understand what happened. We're not the only flight that that happened on. Um, it's, it's just that uh, we were at a point in time where um, they needed to make a statement about it. Uh, yeah. But every, if, if you look at the auction sites today, you'll see articles that were carried on every flight yeah. before ours, uh, which are in the same boat as, the, as what we, you know, what happened with us, mm. uh, and nobody's saying a word. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah. the U.S. Congress passed a law saying that anything that you carried on a flight and you brought back is yours. It does not belong to the government. And look. So that, that all kind of went away. It, unfortunately, we kind of triggered all of that, yeah. which, is, yeah. which is okay. I mean, that's the way things go. I guess they should have expected you to be a little bit, uh, you know, rebellious, because astronauts have to have a bit of that in them, don't they, to go no, up there and I take the say, risk in I the first place? No, I, I won't say I was rebellious. Oh, okay. I will say I did what my commander wanted me to do. All right, okay. Well, look, that's listen, not being rebellious. you're here in the UK. No, I like <laughs> That's being pretty, pretty <laughs> controlled, actually. Pretty yeah. good. Okay, look, so you're here in the UK for Space Week to yes. get everyone as excited as you are, even though... You know, we haven't been to the moon. We haven't seen it there. Why haven't um, we been back, Al? Why haven't we been back to the moon? I don't... Because it was clearly such an incredible period and moment. Well, back, back in the early 70s, uh, the decision was made to start building a space shuttle, which mm. is probably the worst mm. thing they could ever do. A uh, very dangerous machine. Uh, if you build a space shuttle, you've got to have something to shuttle between. Mm -hmm. So you build a space station. Now you've got a space station and you've got a shuttle that goes from the Earth to the space station and back again, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. How do you survive for a year and a half in a little spacecraft? Yeah. That's going to be the key to it, and the human physiology is going to be very important. So they're doing the It's not just the food, research. it's not just the sleep, it's how do you survive in mm -hmm. weightlessness sure. for a year and a half? And we're have you beginning to here? get some answers on that, but it's going to be kind of interesting. So they're doing that. the research to maybe do the next big project, aren't they? Which is fascinating. That. So look, you're here in the UK for Space Week. Right. Everyone I'm here for World Space Week. Excited as you are about yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. Um, why should we still go into space? I mean, the, the money that spends is astronomical. We That's we're peanuts. hearing this more. Peanuts. <laughs> Wasn't what, Cassini? About I understand. Look, Cassini million was about three hundred and nineteen thousand dollars a day. That that. Was oh yeah, spent. yeah. But That's we peanuts. found out a lot. We found out a lot from Cassini, mm. and that last, that last plunge into the atmosphere was pretty exciting. Uh, we're finding out a lot about the other planets. Uh, the other planets are just another stepping stone. why is that so important zone. when you look at what it we've just, got in our country? Problems with the NHS. Problems with this. Mm. Problems back here on Earth. Tell us why we should invest so heavily in that. Survival. Survival of the species. Uh, Do you no think eventually, question about it. You think eventually we'll colonize other planets and we'll leave Not Earth? in our solar system because there's nothing here that will sustain us. Uh, we've got to develop the capability to go someplace where there is another Earth and we know that they're out there. There's no question mm. about that. They are out there but they're a little ways out. I mean, 3.2 light years is the nearest one. Which means we got to build a machine that goes a little faster than the speed of light, and that's going to be the big key. And do you think out. there's extraterrestrials out there, Al, as well? What? Do you think there's? You aliens? know, I've been asked that question hundreds of times. Are there? Do you believe in aliens? And I say, yeah. Have you ever seen one? I say, yeah, I have. Well, how have you seen them? Well, I said, I look in the mirror every morning <laughs> <laughs> because that's what we are. <laughs> we we are the aliens, but we just. We, we just we're think just, we're yeah, we the just, thing. We just think there's somebody else, but we're the ones who came from somewhere else. Because, yeah. because somebody else had to survive, and they got in a little spacecraft, and they came here, and they landed, and they started civilization here. 
that's Jenna, what I believe. And if you if, if you if you don't believe me, go 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 get books on the ancient Sumerians and see what they had to uh, say. That's a whole uh, different discussion. They, they, they'll they'll, they'll, they'll tell you right up front. You just blown that right open. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, we can't we can't get into that. It's like we're floating on the dark side of the moon. I know, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is amazing. I don't want to get too complicated. It's brilliant. It's so fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you. Thank you.